Hello, everybody. This is Tom Eckert here. You're listening to my podcast, Numerology, a GPS for the soul. This is your place to learn about the true power of numerology and how to use it to bring out the best in yourself, understand your loved ones better, take wise decisions, and prepare for your future. In other words, how to live your life aligned with your true destiny. Take your time to educate yourself and share these podcasts with your friends and family so they too can enjoy the great benefits of numerology. Enjoy! Hello everybody! I am excited to uh, have another episode about the master numbers and go a little deeper uh, into the main master numbers. So last episode, I've been talking about the 11, the 11 two, and today we're going to dive deep into the 22 slash four, 22 four, in other words. Now, if you haven't listened to the 11 uh, master number episode, I highly recommend you do to inform yourself about the real deeper meaning and the effects of having the 11 two, being the 11 two, going through a time in your life where 11 two is dominant as a number. I think it, it gives a lot of insight um, and I think it's important for us to understand the deeper realities and use numerology um, in an intelligent way, a wise way, a way that just helps us grow. That's at least my intention with these podcasts to inspire you to use numerology in a way that is transformational, that propels you to grow and expand. So today we're, di- we're diving deep into master number 22 and... 22, um, I would call it the master builder. So this is uh, the usual kind of uh, title it receives in numerology. And I think it, it fits pretty well. With with the 11, I, I didn't use its kind of like common title, which usually is the master teacher. Um, with the 22, somehow it fits more, in my opinion. The master builder. So the 22, first of all, we have to understand is inspired to do big things. People who who have a 22-4 in their core numbers, especially the life path number, um, perhaps the, the expression number and the soul urge number will be inspired to do big things, big projects. And they're meant to do something for humanity. Now, all master numbers you're going to see are meant to do something for humanity. The calling is more universal, right? So in essence, a master number is a number that is influenced by by the higher universal cosmic forces to do something that is not only for oneself. Now, that means that there is a kind of a sense of service there, right? There's a potential sense of service, a higher spiritual influence that can flow through this person for humanity. Um, Of course, we don't all, you know, our souls are in different levels of development. So it's not always, you know, when someone has a 22, they're not always going to do something that amazing or that good necessarily for humanity, but they're still meant to go big. Okay. So, so as I said, they're meant to do something for humanity. And, and if we're talking about um, a soul that is a bit more advanced, Okay, okay, a bit more mature, more conscious, then we're talking about someone that can bring something that is ahead of their time to humanity, right? Some some inspiration, some method, some organization that does something, I don't know what, for, for the environment, whatever. It can be even political, but something that is a bit ahead of their time. They can create models for humanity, models that later on become um, something to, to follow, something to live by. It can even be people who, for example, who are today creating villages that are eco-villages, right? This can also be like a 22-4 uh, action or goal. And later on, these villages become a model for, for people to live in a more conscious, more ecological, uh, more communal way. So the, the 22 is meant to take greater responsibility, right? Now, all master numbers have this dual frequency. Um, and again, I'm gonna, I want to remind you that I have an episode dedicated 
to explaining in depth what master numbers really are and their effect in our life and chart. So go ahead and listen to that because that's very, very important because here again, we have this dual frequency. We have the 22 and we have the four and as a four, right? One will be a bit more small scale in their actions. They will be responsible people, but they're not gonna go big. But the 22 is designed to take big responsibility and to think big and to go big. There's this strategic mind, a very strong strategic mind, and it's designed to take on bigger responsibilities. So it's important for the 22 not to be afraid of that, not to be afraid to go big, not to be afraid to take bigger, greater responsibility. As a 22, you are meant to leave an impact on the world, right? Some, again, if it's functioning on its higher level, on a more subtle, on a more spiritual level, then the impact should leave some development, like some, it, it should be a developmental impact on the world, right? Something that can advance humankind. Um, when it's not spiritual, okay, or, or when it's a little less evolved, I'm saying this carefully because, of course, this can be very evolved, but I'm just, I just want to give you like a, a bit of a, I, I just want to draw a picture to kind of make a point here. Um, so when less spiritual, it can still be part of a big business, for example, a big business endeavor, big managing positions, right? And still have some bigger impact experience as the journey of a 22 for what it means to, to, to act on one's authority to to really kind of have authority, have power, have a strategic position, have a managing position, and really influence uh, other people. Really be in a position that can take big actions. So that's also something you'll very often see people with a strong twenty-two do. They will do big businesses, the big money. Okay. Um, just to kind of remember that. Um, now, while the number four, you know, can be a small scale manager, right? The 22 uh, can also be inspired from above. And that's also important to remember, right? So as we as we kind of like um, fluctuate and, and move between the four and the 22, right? We, as, as a 22, we, we must learn to embody more and more that inspired energy. People with only a four are not desire, designed necessarily to be inspired from above, we can say, or go outside the box. In other words, the 20, is a 22 four, you're supposed to have that stability of four, but you're supposed to step outside the box. You're supposed to have a mind that is open, that sees things from many different perspectives, many different angles, and is open to something that is to, 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 to like a spirit of ingenuity right? Like some creative thinking. Um, the four is more fearful. The four is more conservative. The 22 is fearless. The 22 is brave. The 22 is unconventional. So we have to see this duality, right? With the 11 and the two, we also see this duality, right? The 11 is also like a kind of like they are a number of truth of shedding light, like the, the 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 courage to shed light on what is dark. The two, on the other hand, is a very shy number. It doesn't shed light on things. It's more absorbing, right? So again, we have that fearless side of the eleven and the fearful side of the two, and we have that again with the twenty-two four. Twenty-two being fearless, twenty-two being brave, twenty-two also designed meant to. Um, not be afraid of their power, and four, being a bit more conservative, more kind of needing more defined boundaries, while the 22 is more designed to break through limitations. Now, the 22 has a powerful authority, and they are meant to trust that authority. They are meant to go big. They are meant to not be afraid of this authority and of their power. And you will see that sometimes the 22 can be afraid of their power. 
you will, as a 22, you will literally, it's part of the test of being yourself, of becoming that master number. You have to, you have to learn to not be afraid of your power, not be afraid of failure, not be afraid of authority. It's like you, you must develop and cultivate the willingness to back up your authority, to dare and act courageously in the face of challenges, in the face of effort that needs to be taken, in the face of having great dreams but realizing that there are many steps to be taken, right? Still not give up on these dreams, to go out there and do what it takes, to stand behind what you know should be done, to dare, you know, to do something big is not, it's, it sounds amazing, but it's not easy. It's a, it's a level of commitment. It's a level of will. It's a level of confronting, you know, many failures and many question marks and a lot of unknown and still trusting yourself and keep going, right? So that's very important for the 22 to get out of the safe zone and act big. You're, you're hearing me again and again repeating this acting big because this is so fundamental for the 22. They are, literally, they are literally meant to leave something that stays, stays for the long run, something tangible, something physical. Again, as I said, it, this can be, you know, this can be, as I said, like an eco village, or, but this can also be a method, right? If I invented the method, this can be a product that serves people later on, but something that goes big, something that is tangible, palpable, that people can use, that, that leaves an effect. So that's really part of the destiny here. I've seen 22s, and I think it's definitely part of the 22. These are people that can succeed financially. It can, over time, uh, become, you know, they can, they can become pretty wealthy. They can deal with big money. Um, as opposed to the four, that will play it much more safe and less risky. The 22, I've seen 22s do much bigger businesses, earn big salaries. So that's a, a really a potential of, a, of 22. Um, they have an amazing strategic mind. Um, you know, th th this is what also allows them to be really good managers. They can recruit big people to... to to serve a certain bigger purpose, something that they are managing. They know how to handle these situations. Um, a couple more things that come to mind is that the importance, for example, for the 22 to take care of their health, right? There's the four energy there and the 22 kind of amplifies it a bit in a sense. So the whole connection with the body, one as a 22 needs to pay attention to diet to physical activity not to be overly workaholic um it's very important now in terms of shadow i've mentioned perhaps a few things here but i want to just like say them in one go so we kind of have the shadow uh very clear before us so first of all on the let's say on, on the excess side the 22 can be a bit too grandiose and, and kind of have big, too big dreams that are not um, grounded in reality. So this is also, it can go there as well, right? We always have the, the excess and the deficiency. So in the excess, two big dreams that are completely disconnected from where I am at the moment. Um, they can also take actions that are beyond their actual capacity to handle, putting themselves in financial trouble, in... Uh, you know, um, the straining themselves emotionally, mentally, and, and physically. Uh, as I said, being too much of a workaholic uh, until they burn themselves out. I've seen that happen to people around me, 22s. Um, they can get themselves right into, into, into financial debt. I've seen that happen. On, on the deficiency side, right, they can be afraid to act big and they can remain small. They can be really afraid of success. Um, they can be really afraid of their own power and the, 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 the very greatness that is hidden within them, right? That kind of bigness, we can say, okay? Like being big. Um, so that's very important. Now, in a, in, a, 
if you have, let's say, uh, a cycle or a pinnacle, right? You're in a period cycle of a 22-4, you should be aware of the fact that there's a big door opening before you. Um, a big door of opportunity, opportunity to go big, to, to, to really expand into new frontiers, to leave a mark on this world in whatever you do in your, in your career, in, in your mission. It's almost like something is calling you to even step into a higher mission and, and, and really bring something from above to the ground, right? from the heavens to the earth, right? To almost like download some inspiration and make it concrete, make it accessible to others. It's a very expansive time. Um, I'll simply, I'll only say that I've noticed sometimes that when people have a 22 for as their first cycle or pinnacle, this can be a bit challenging because the energy demands a lot very early in life. And sometimes it's not that easy to catch up with that energy that early on. But let's say from the second cycle, second pinnacle onwards, um, I think that this energy can actually push a person into great developmental uh, heights. So it's important to be aware of that. Um, good. So I think for this episode, we've kind of covered the, the essence, the fragrance, the, you know, the character, the personality of, of a 22, the master builder. So just to kind of sum it all up in, in maybe a sentence or two, the 22-4 is here to do something big for humanity to leave something for the benefit of everyone, something tangible and concrete, literally to build something for people, right? The master builder. They are meant to be courageous. They are meant to act with authority and without fear. They are meant to go big and trust their power. Fantastic, my friends. I hope that this episode um, inspires you. Um, now, if you want to study numerology, uh, if you're one of those that wants to deepen, um, you are really welcome to click the link. It's in the description of my podcast and check out my self-study numerology course. You can study it in your own pace, at home, on the computer, on the tablet, on your cell phone. On the other hand, if you are one of those who want to study numerology professionally on a much higher level uh, with me personally, um, then you can click on the link and go into my website and write me a personal email through the contact form and I will be very happy to give you more details. I am always, always delighted to cultivate uh, new numerologists. Okay, my friends. So I wish you all the best and I will see you as always in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, and you want to go deeper into numerology, check out my website, tom-eckert.com. You can also book a numerology reading or even study numerology yourself through my courses. I'll see you in the next episode.